obviously I have to do something with my hair. <laughs> Let me tell you a little story. What happened actually was that I slept on my wet hair. <laughs> that is something that I would literally never ever ever in a million years ever recommend for anybody to do but I did it to myself because I was lazy and exhausted and I was like what the heck I'm just gonna go to bed and throw it into a bun. Ah. But anyways I got red braiding hair for the occasion. This is what the color looks like. It's really cool. I feel like it's gonna go with the tips of my hair really nicely. I've never tried this hairstyle before so I'm a little bit nervous. The hairstyle for reference. Jumbo box braid. That's what it's called I'm pretty sure. It is like such a stunning hairstyle. I'm obviously not gonna leave the curly bits out because I have straight braiding hair but I'm still gonna do the exact same type of braids. I've actually never done box braids before but as you can see it is one of my most requested hairstyles ever. <laughs> Let's get into it. I cannot stare at my hair any longer, but I want to quickly tell you guys what I'm drinking. So I'm drinking a dirty chai. At least I think it's called a dirty chai. It has like a latte shot type of coffee. It's from Chamberlain Coffee. And then from the grocery store, I have like a chai latte milk thing that I mixed in. I added some ice and it's so good. Like I've been sipping on this. I actually, this is my second coffee. That's a problem. If you see my nose keep getting redder throughout the video, it's because my allergies are so bad today. Actually, my allergies and my asthma have been so bad today that I just have to blow my nose all day long. And so my nose is getting really, really red. I put a little bit of concealer over top of it so it wasn't as red, but it's, it's hurting a little bit. Okay, so my first step with doing this hairstyle is gonna be getting my hair into kind of messy sections. And what I mean by messy section is the parts don't have to be perfect. I'm gonna do four of those sections because I gotta detangle my hair first. Cause like I said, I slept on it and now it's a ratty mess. So I'm just spraying my hair with some water so I can detangle it. And I'm just gonna brush from, I was gonna say from root to tip, but I'm literally going from tip to root. <laughs> I'm brushing from tip to root. Ever since getting fake nails, it's literally been like such a learning curve for me to learn everything that I do on a daily basis, like blowing my nose. It actually took me like a good half hour of trying to figure out how to blow my nose with fake nails. <laughs> and brushing my hair is also a learning curve. Life is just different when you have long nails, I'm realizing. First section's detangled. Moving on to the second section. And I kind of like push the water into my hair because my hair literally just repels water for some reason. I don't know if that makes me low porosity or high porosity. I, I can't remember the difference. Literally, look at how I'm brushing my hair right now. I'm holding the brush so weird because I'm getting adjusted to this new long nail life. I'm gonna detangle the rest of my hair off camera and I'll be right back when that's done. My hair is all detangled now, but I gotta resection it because I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it straight so that it's easier to braid it. So again, I'm just gonna do four messy parts. And they're about this big. Do you guys remember when I tried the Rev Air machine? Rev Hair, Rev Air, I can't remember what it's called. But I'm gonna use it again because I actually really like it. It makes my life so much easier. Whoops. This machine is actually so cool because it blow dries and strains your hair at the same time. Just wait to see this. So right now I'm just holding it. It's on setting seven on the highest heat setting. I just gotta hold it until it feels right. <laughs> so we're just gonna wait. My hair doesn't have to be perfectly straight for this. I just need to be blow dried a bit more straight. It's easier to work with that way. And then it's gonna look something like this. See, it's, I don't even have to do any work. I just hold this up to my head. straighten my hair I would not make the sections as big as they are to be honest this is just to dry it flatter I don't even know if you can hear me talking right now because this machine is so loud it literally sounds like a vacuum that's why I like to call it a hair vacuum okay we are done the hair prep it's not perfectly straight but it doesn't have to be a little texture actually might be better because the braiding hair does have some texture anyways. Also, I desperately need my sister's help to help me part my hair because I cannot see the back of my head. And if I was going to guess a straight part, it would probably look something like this. And we all know that's not straight. <laughs> so we're just doing a middle part and then three ponytails. I feel like that's the best way to go about this. I don't know. It's my first time. <laughs> hey, dude, you need to taste this. Yeah. You have a hair on it. <gasps> I've been drinking hair chai latte. <laughs> if you could dye my hair any color, what color would you dye it? It could be like strands, like rainbow and half and half. It could be whatever you want, just what, what, in I, a dream world. I think I would give you um, light pink hair. Light pink? Yeah, for sure, with your features. If you guys could dye my hair any color, what color would you dye my hair? Okay, 
okay, one section. This is section one. Oh, maybe it should be thicker because the other two sides. Well, then I guess the wall just be equal. Well, it's gonna be sitting probably around here. I feel like it should so, be yeah, a little the, bit thicker. The top ones are bigger. Scratch that. We're doing a bigger section. This is the real first section. I made it so that it's bigger, a less bigger, less bigger. These are the sections. Are you feeling that at the same points? Yeah. Okay. Can you can you massage them just to make sure? <laughs> Yep, that feels about right. Uh. I have these three blue products and I want to do an all jean look when my hair is freshly done with a nice, awesome killer eye look. Okay, please stop with me. <laughs> but as I was saying about the blue look, I'm gonna be posting the pictures of the final look on my Instagram. If you guys wanna check it out, my at is right here. Also, the link to my socials is gonna be in the description box below. It is time to start gelling these sections into ponytails. So I'm just using these little elastics, some eco gel, and a little bit of edge gel. For brushes, I'm using a little edge brush and a smoothing brush. Pretty firm in texture, also pretty dirty. So I'm just gonna make sure it's really gelled nicely because the selling point of these braids is gonna be that they're so clean and crisp and just mwah. I'm doing these braids with the elastic method. So right now I'm just adding the elastics to each section. I'm really making sure I gel up these baby hairs on the back just cause I don't want anybody to catch me slipping. And the sleeker brush is really just gonna help smooth that hair in. And I really wanna try to get these to be angled in the right direction. First two ponytails are done. And this is what the back looks like. If it's not perfect, it doesn't matter because I can't see it. <laughs> and if anybody's looking at the back of my head, they need to mind their own business. Moving on to the middle sections, adding lots of gel and smoothing that in. I'm gonna have this one resting probably like this. I think that's good. And I'm just tying that up with the elastic. I've been getting so many asthma attacks recently. I get a lot of stress-induced asthma attacks, so I find that in days where I'm just feeling overwhelmed, which is a lot of the time because I have really bad anxiety, I tend to get a lot of asthma attacks. So the other day I literally had five asthma attacks and that was extremely exhausting and frustrating too. But I really do just try to stay positive and I know that I'll eventually get this under control and everything will be okay. My asthma attacks really drain me of my energy, wow. Okay, this is the back view of these. I hope it's even. <laughs> now this front piece is what matters the most. So I'm gonna load her up with some eco gel really getting that in there on all sides including the back Woo, my arms are getting tired I think I'm gonna tie it around here it's gonna give me a little bit of a facelift too you gel in the mouth tying this section up now oh my goodness this one's not gonna go down without putting up a fight I hope this elastic does not snap on me this is hard to do with nails as well <laughs> <sighs> okay, one side is done now. I've just been dipping my brush directly into the eco gel. Just gonna brush that in. <sighs> Sometimes I need a little brain wake up. Making sure I get these sideburns gelled up because there's been times where I've kind of skipped on them and I didn't like how it looked. Okay, now we're just gonna tie this side up. Hopefully these end up even or else I'll have to kind of restart. My camera died. So I did one braid and my edges off camera, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did it. So here's the piece of hair I'll be using. And basically all I do is I take a little piece, then, listen, I'm an amateur, so uh, I'm not the best. And then I just flip this around. Just once is good. At least that's what I did for the last braid. And then it will look something like this. So we're just gonna work on this middle section here. So I'm just taking my braiding hair I'm gonna put that on the braid and I'm gonna grab this middle part. Like this. Once it's all grabbed in its respective fingers, I don't know how to word it, I'm just gonna start braiding. And I wanna braid super tight so it's not loose. Oh gosh, we're getting a little bit of a knot situation going on. Trouble in paradise. And I'm just gonna try and braid that as perfectly as I can. Once you get past the hard part, the rest of the braid is pretty easy. Kind of. <laughs> it's honestly just starting the hair that's the hard part though. And just braiding it super tight. 
My arms are tired. Oh my gosh, my arms are so tired. The red of my hair is a little bit brighter than the braid hair, but it's fine. I'm gonna braid as close to the end as I can possibly get and secure it with a hair tie, but later I'm gonna dip it into hot water. But for now, I'll just tie it off with a hair tie. Oh my goodness, this is a workout. Just tying that off with a hair tie. Ta-da, two braids done. Um, I actually don't have a lot of braiding hair left, so I'm actually gonna mix in this pack for the top braids. I feel like it'll look cool anyways, having a little bit of an orange and red type of moment. But next time for future reference, I need two packs of braiding hair, and I don't know why I didn't think of that. This is how I'm gonna braid it into the hair. I feel like this is gonna give a cool highlighty effect. Guys, I don't think I like my hair so far. I feel like it's just because I don't have like a full face on that I'm like feeling a little bit of doubt towards the final product. Um, but sometimes this happens to me when I'm doing hairstyles and midway through the hairstyle, I'm like, I hate it. And then when I finish, I end up liking it. But also sometimes when I finish, I'm like, I hate it still. <laughs> so hopefully this is not the case. I'm just doing the same thing that I did on the last braid and I'm just braiding that down the hair. I'm also not super good at this. Like I said, it's my first time. So it's not as perfect as I would like it to be. That needs to get restarted and closer to the top of the hair. There we go, that's much better. Sometimes it takes just a little bit of trial and error. My nose is so irritated. And I am so irritated. Second last piece, I feel like I can see the finish line. I also feel like I've been getting better with every single braid. Or maybe that's just my imagination. Tomorrow I'm gonna get myself a McDonald's Sprite. I really want that little jolt that it gives me. <laughs> I just love McDonald's Sprite. I currently have two McDonald's cups in my room right now. That's a problem. I'm starting to realize that's a problem. I also have an event to go to tomorrow and I don't know if I'm gonna leave these braids in. It depends how confident I'm feeling. Anytime I go to brand events, I always like to feel super confident because I have a lot of social anxiety and I find that when I feel really confident, I usually go in and I feel less anxious. But if I'm not feeling confident, it's gonna be anxiety all over the place. So I need to make sure I'm feeling confident. So if that means taking out these braids that I spent hours doing, then so be it. I'm gonna finish the rest of my hair and I'll be right back to show you guys the final results. Oh my gosh, the hair is done. I knew I just needed to wait till it was finished to end up liking it. I still have to add some foam though. Right now I'm gonna use the Herbal Essence Curl Boosting Mousse. This is just gonna help lock it in and get the frizzies away. It also helps keep the braids neat longer. Some foam to lock it in. Are you kidding me? And my Aritzia sweatpants. Time to lock these braids in. Just a little bit more on the back there. Fantastic. Fantastic. No, because this looks awesome. Oh my gosh, I love how my braids look. These ended up looking super good. I was honestly nervous for a little bit, but I shouldn't have been. I should have trusted the process because this is fire. Oh, I'm gonna be feeling myself. I am honestly so happy with how these braids turned out. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I'm calling it a journey because I feel like I had a little bit of an emotional roller coaster in the middle there. <laughs> Also with the camera dying, oh my gosh, I was actually so annoyed the second the camera died. But anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching today's video. And my other socials are linked in the description box below. I post daily on Instagram and TikTok. If you love today's video and you don't wanna miss any more, you can hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you don't miss any of my posts. And I love you so much, I wish I could give you a hug. Actually, I'm gonna give you a hug. Bye.